So, we're going to be reviewing the Firefly virtual reality headset for the mobile. Got this from the Gadget Show live event last Thursday. So we're going to do an unboxing. I think I know what I'm doing, but we shall uh, see. We've got two cameras recording, so we can try and get the full experience. So it comes in this rather posh case. Uh, on the back side of the box, it's saying optimum screen size is five and a half inch. Um, minimum size is 135 millimeters in length. Maximum size is 165 millimeters. Um, you don't need anything particularly fancy phone-wise. Um, there is some compatibility issues if you've got an iOS device. So, on the fly, open the box. So what we're going to do, we're going to be using a YouTube video uh, to test this out. So it's a nice, nice box, very nice box. The unit, I think, retails at £40. Ooh. So, in the box, we've got some instructions, got some form of remote control, which is probably some sort of Bluetooth remote control. As far as this review is concerned, we're going to try and test out a video. That are some games. So I assume the games will be using this quite snazzy little remote control. Um, but, yeah, first things first, we'll put them down. So, the main headset. Okay, so it's saying we should pause every five minutes. We should be sat down to use this, but we're going to stop today. Um, okay, so pull the clip down, open it up. Quite straightforward so far. So, if you look at this side of the actual unit itself. Okay, now let's get this bad boy off without breaking it. Instructions off. So far, so good. Um, I'm going to try and do this without the glasses. So we should see how this goes. So that is your basic fitting. Oops. Oh, it looks like something out of Ghostbusters right now. You've got two lenses. So let's put in the foam. So. Should be aware of, oh, there we go, there's a button on the side, open it up, shut it on, okay. So I've left myself enough room to put my headphones in. So, plug them in. Okay, for copyright reasons we can't display the video at the same time, so what I'm going to try and do is Shut that in. Hopefully, yeah, I can see a video. Put it into cardboard mode, and hopefully, the video should start playing. Okay, so I click that in, put my headphones on. Okay, this is very weird. Oh, so the video that I'm describing right now is a video from uh, a YouTuber, Matthias, where he did a 360 video of his home. Well, at the moment, I'm stood here and I have Matthias right in front of me holding his camera. He's walking, uh, which is very disorientated, but I can actually now turn around. Oh, I can see his bed. His bed is just there. And he's moving. It's very disorientated. So his front room, his kitchen's over there. Very, very bizarre. Oh, very, very strange, bizarre experience. Oh, right. All I did to find the video, if I just unclip this bad boy, you can see, if I just zoom in there, can you see the video? Hopefully, you should see that there's two lenses, and that's how they appear in there, and that's how they appear in your head that like you're in the room. So, if I sort of rock my phone a little bit, you can see the screen rocks. 
So, I've got to go and do this again because this is fantastic. Whoa, he's, he's just there, he stood right in front of me. Oh, this is the most bizarre experience. I actually do feel like I'm sat stood in the front room. Okay, Pete's now on the roller coaster. It's quite disorientating if you look to the left and look to the right. Yeah. <laughs> and there is a text message is up here <laughs> while viewing. So basically, this is using the Google Cardboard engine. Um, it's just a headset, it's a bit more comfortable to wear. You've got the benefit of the glide system. And if I just turn around, which I'm assuming I'm facing the camera now. No. No. Another 90 degree. Yeah, keep going a bit more. A bit more Does to the. Yeah, perfect. More? Yeah. Right, so I'm now looking outside the cellar that I'm in. So if I look to the left of me now, so you see where I'm pointing? That is the front of the train I'm on. If I point that way, that's the back of the train. So if I face where my camera is at the moment, I'm looking out to the side of the roller coaster. That is massively disorientating. <laughs> if I just turn back on again. Oh, hello people. Oh, they're cheering me. Yes, thanks. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. We're trying a horror game. It's called a chair in the room. This is very weird. Um, if I could take one headphone out, it's easy for me to talk. So I'm in a dark room, um, suddenly in the middle of the room. Uh, okay, so apparently I should be using this to turn off my flashlight. I'm on my own apparently, in this middle of this very very scary room. Oh my Jesus God. It's very, very dark and I can't turn my torch on. <laughs> I'm a little bit scared. I'll be very honest, I'm a little bit scared right now. What the hell's that? Oh my, there's something burning in the corner of the room. This thing. Ah! <laughs> you have your back to me, by the way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I am freaked out right now. I've got to tell you, everybody. I'm in some sort of room where there's a dark chair in the corner, there's a box, there's something about a body, a body found to be a hoax. I've got a flashlight, uh, there's some sort of bureau in the corner. Please find body. Oh my god, my torch is dead again. The music is so loud in my head. <laughs> oh my god, what's that over there? Oh my wordy. Oh my wordy. Please, can, can my torch come back on, please? Please come back on. Please come back on. Oh. <laughs> I tell you, what, I've never been so scared in my life. <laughs> The, uh, the glide, this is a thing in my hand, wherever you may be. <laughs> oh, oh, my torch is back on. Right, okay. Oh my god, I can hear babies and children screeching. Oh my god. 
Oh, okay, there's now blood on the wall. So, oh, that turns my light off. I turn my light back on again. <gasps> there's no carvings in the wall that says blue higher. Uh, I've got to go this way, but I, I have goose pimples right now. <laughs> it's on the floor. Because I've got to turn my torch off for it to charge up. But while I turn the light off, probably things can come into my room. Blood on the walls. <gasps> there's a baby. There's a baby in a box. <laughs> Can I? Okay. Turn left. It's. It seems like I'm in a music video. Oh. 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 Okay, so Matt Bellamy is stood right in front of me. Hello, Matt. Just over there is Chris Swanstone. And if I just look over there, I can, I can literally just look around. Oh my god, Don's disappeared right in front of me. And if I turn around now, I'm stood right next door to Matt Bellamy. Okay, so I'm in the middle of a music video and it's from the Drones album, uh, the song's called Revolt and I'm literally in the middle of the video, <laughs> quite literally in the middle of the video. Um, there's police, oh, I, I'm, I seem to be sat on someone's microphone. It's very weird. Ah, okay, I've worked out now, I've been a little bit stupid. You're seeing it as a drone. That, that'll be the difference. Did my wife will enjoy this because I, I feel I'm that close to Matt Bellamy right now, I could snog him. <laughs> this is really close. So, before she kicks me off this unit, the Firefly is very, very impressive. Very, very cool. Um, all very dependent on what handset you're listening to or using. Um, set of instructions, pretty easy. Um, you got to download the Firefly application, you have to download the Cardboard application. One thing I missed and I didn't realise, you have to connect that by Bluetooth, which is called your Glide VR, and you've got to set up the Cardboard facility. So, because it's built on Cardboard VR, which is a Google product, you've actually got to tell it you're using the Firefly, uh, which means you've got to scan the, v you've got to scan the QR code for the cardboard twice. So, uh, very impressive headset. For the value and the money, incredibly good. That cardboard, that, that in the dark game was immensely scary. Uh, but thank you very much for tuning to uh, Cool Smartphone and see you all soon.